Hello, today I'm going to talk about my project for microprocessors course. So my project is Laundry Monitor. The topics that I'm going to discuss today are why and what. So why did I choose this project and uh, what, I, what did I do to complete this project. Uh, I will talk about the components that I used in the device. I will explain the state machine diagram of the device to explain better how the software works this uh, software of the device works i will show the website of the project uh, this website displays the information that is published by the laundry monitor then i will show you the laundry monitor in action in the real appliance uh, so the reason that i choose this project is the time waste like uh, that I experienced when I was trying to find an av available washing machine or tumble dryer to use. So with this project, I I aim to develop a system uh, that people just go online and check if there are any uh, available devices without physically going and checking. Uh, another reason is uh, there are some interruptions uh, may occur during uh, these procedures. So, like one person can open the lid uh, of tumble dryer to check if it's uh, if it's occupied or not. So, like this kills the process. So, like with this project, you will be notified when uh, sim a similar thing happens to your clothes. Uh, and like similar to that, you will be notified when your like operation is done without an interruption. So the components uh, mainly like there are two components: one vibration sensor and one Raspberry Pi. So the, uh, like these laundry appliances uh, generate vibration uh, during their operation. So this vibration sensor senses these vibration basically. So, like it sends, it transfers its data to Raspberry Pi. Uh, with Raspberry Pi, uh, just understands, uh, just interprets these information with uh, some code that I wrote, like that uh, I will explain in the state machine diagram part, and then uh, it publishes its uh, interpretation to to a cloud server. And this cloud server also hosts the website uh, that publishes information to the users. So this is very uh, the first prototype of the system. So there are some buttons, an RGB LED, and the sensor. Like after checking, uh, this combination works. Like I did some soldering on a prototyping board. Uh, and this is the final version uh, of the product. So the state machine diagram, uh, there are four main states uh, in the laundry monitor, idle, operating, interrupted, and completed. In the idle state, uh, the, the uh, laundry monitor waits for an input from the user. Uh, this input is uh, just a button push. So like these Bs in this diagram, uh, refers refers to buttons. So, like when the user presses a button uh, on the device, uh, it switches to operating mode. In the operating mode, uh, basically the Raspberry Pi gathers data from vibration sensor. So, like if a vib if the if an vibration is sensed, it's okay. Then it's working. If it's not sensed uh, during this state, uh, a timer like a real timer uh, is executed here. So, like in the uh, very f like in the very beginning of the software, like there are some predefined uh, times. Let's say like when is the interrupt time. So, these machines tend to have some pauses during their operations. So, like in order to avoid any uh, misconclusions. Uh, like this is needed so like you can just set this default time to 
uh, one minute or like 45 seconds. So in the operating state, uh, when the vibration is not sensed, this timer is started. So like it continues to count uh, like when there is no vibration, but like as long as the the vibration is sensed, this uh, timer is cancelled and its value uh, is set to zero again. So it's not cumulative. It's just uh, it just sends the like if it's uh, a normal thing or not. Uh, then, uh, if it's interrupted, like if this in interrupt time reaches the predefined value, so it the, the this state is declared as interrupted. So, like it's displayed on the website, and user is um, just wanted to like the basically the system tells the user come here and uh, check your clothes and the user goes there like he or she pushes a button and the state is changed to idle again so if the operating stage uh, is not interrupted like it means it's completed correctly so like what this means c2 is there's another uh, timer called execution timer so like this is the time uh, that uh, that you approximately give uh, to the washing machine or the tumble dryer may let's say it's one hour one and a half hour uh, so like the completed state it's is reached when interrupt timer is reached to its predefined value and and the execution time is reached its uh, predefined value this means that like uh, you wait like you just expect uh, the machine to complete its operation for in one hour and if it's done in one hour and the, if there is no vibration so like it means it's completed uh, so when these conditions are met this state is completed so like when the completed state uh, is in action another timer is uh, started so this timer is for the user it just gives user time to go to the laundry room so like it's just five minutes or ten minutes uh, five or ten minutes then it changed it changes the state uh, to idle again so like it's just a courtesy to the user so like this is the state machine diagram uh, and I will show uh, the, the demo right now the website demo so this is the website of the uh, la laundry monitor actually there is another project as well but laundry monitor is here so I just click find machines Hopefully it opens. Sometimes there are some. Okay, it opens. So like this is the main page. We have a total occupancy rate. This bar shows like how many devices are used right now. So like right now, like with some serial devices, uh, approximately seventy percent of them are used. So like we have the dorms. In each dorm, we have one uh, male uh, laundry room and one female run, uh, laundry room so the devices are split in the two uh, like here we have the appliance ID, the appliance name and the status so the users can see like which machines are operating right now which machines are idle so they can check like, if there are any available devices. They can check the specifics of a machine like by pressing the button here. So like in 
this video we are going to use this button so like this is laundry appliance detail page uh, this page shows the device ID device name building uh, gender like if the device is online uh, this the last online time like the last time this server is communicated with the device and the status so these status these labels are same as the state machine diagram so there's two buttons actually three buttons subscribe reserve and refresh button so if you want to like let's say you use you are using this device right now and you want to refresh and you want to like get the state of the machine you can do that by just pressing this button so it refreshed uh, the subscribe button uh, just enables you to sub subscribe to the state changes so you just enter your email and press subscribe button right now I didn't implement this functionality but I will uh, try to finish it uh, by the deadline so like there's another reserve function so this reserve function uh, gives you the ability to change uh, the pre-default uh, time values so like you can just set the time to 90 minutes or like 120 minutes uh, so you can just change the interruption allowance so like maybe you just want you, you don't want to be bothered for like two minute interruptions so you can choose five uh, I, like I didn't implement this feature as well but this feature is definitely be finished by the deadline so if you want to use the uh, default values you just click set defaults or uh, you just want to go with your values you hit apply changes and that's all with the website uh, let me show you the laundry monitor in action so this is our laundry room in dormitory number four so this is an working appliance you can see it's turning so like this is the idle state it blinks a blue LED. so the user presses the button and it starts to get the sensor data in operating state now it's getting the state and according to this state like it blinks by this state i mean the vibration so like it changed from idle to operating now so i just pause the operation so since the timer is working right now it's just operating but now the timer reached its set value so now it's going to say it's interrupted and it it will invite the user to the laundry room so user just resetted the device now the state turned to idle so now it's playing blue and user started again now it started to sense the vibration again and let's check the state and the state is operating right now So in this demo, the execution time is set to two minutes. So in two minutes, the operation will be finished and the laundry monitor will declare it's completed.
a minute ago your user just tried to like pause and uh, start it in a very short time so laundry monitor didn't give any warning because it didn't reach to the each set value so men as mentioned there are some buttons it the start button and the reset button in the state ma machine diagram they are over there So right now everything works fine. And now the state's changed uh, to completed. And like it says the Operation is completed and please come to the laundry room. So like now the user waiting timer is in action. So it's going to wait the user for uh, a minute, I guess. And then uh, it will change the state to idle. So like we are just waiting for this state change. So right now the other users, like even the operation is finished, the other users see this appliance as occupied, but now like it's idle, so it's av available for like other users. So let's check the state and it's idle on the website. So that's all with the demo. So I will just conclude the video with some final notes. So like if you remember there was an online check is online check uh, with the uh, on the appliance detail page. That functionality is not implemented yet. It will be implemented uh, in the in the final presentation. Uh, so, like the final state change uh, is problematic in the demo. So, like it changed to completed without checking if there are any vibrations or not. So, that's kind of problematic. So, if there are any vibrations, it shouldn't change uh, its state to completed, even the execution timer uh, reached to its predefined value. So this this bug will be fixed and the com the completed state is declared uh, will be declared when the execution timer is is reached to its predefined value and if and uh, if there is there is no vibration from the uh, appliance and the email notification uh, feature will be implemented. Also the uh, predefined value set operations will be implemented as well. So then that's all. Uh, thanks for watching.